Hey everyone, it's Captain here. Hope you're all having a great summer. Enjoying living somewhere with walls instead of doors, if you get my meaning. I wanted to talk about something that started about three weeks ago. And as you'll see from the screenshot, I made a comment on an episode of the Van Allen's Attic. I was enjoying the episode, thought I'd participate with the other people in the comment section that were enjoying the episode, and just make a comment. And what happens? I get attacked. Simply for expressing my point of view, I get attacked by someone named Gorgeous George on DVD. Now, when I commented, it was on an episode that he was not a part of. I didn't ask for his opinion. I didn't say to myself, I wonder what Gorgeous George will think about my comment. I just made my comment. And he's got to pop up and make his comment back to me. I mean, the nerve to actually say something to something that I've said. How fair is that? But not only does he do that, but he also starts threatening me. Telling me that he's going to take take it to the authorities. Trying to intimidate me with the threat of the police to stop using my right of free speech to silence me. To put me in the corner and box me up. But I, I refuse to be silenced. I'm going to continue to say what it is I have to say when I want to say something. And as you can see in these comments, it's almost as if he thinks that if he doesn't like what a person has to say, that he has a legal case against them. But that's not how it works. An actual crime has to be... Con, uh, con, an actual crime has to be... committed by the person for there to be any kind of case. And you'd think it wouldn't take 7, 8, 9, 10 lawsuits to learn that, but apparently it does. That You, you can sue some, someone that many times and you still don't get that little takeaway. Uh... But I'm, I'm going to continue to speak. I won't be intimidated. You can't scare me into silence. And the, the thing I really wonder about this, is this done out of jealousy? Because there were lots of comments on the Van, Van Allen Attic episode. And most of them have positive comments uh, on the other episodes as well. But one thing I noticed is that Gorgeous George was popping in and stirring it up, trying to scare people away, which is really a shame because you can tell there that this Van Allen's Attic show is a labor of love, that Kevin and Keith really enjoy doing this show. Uh, it just kind of shines through, that and their talent for being on TV. But then you have... George in the comments trying to scare people away. I don't know what, what what that's all about for certain, but it does seem like it's jealousy that he hasn't been on the Van Allen Van, Van Allen's Attic show. Hasn't been a guest or a co-host or anything. Uh, and so it's probably jealousy. He doesn't want to see it succeed. And so he's, he's trying to intimidate people like me and the others that were commenting and to get us to stop watching so that Kevin can never say that he was on a show that was better than the Gorgeous George show. I mean, that's got to be it. But I don't think it's going to work. I think when you have talent like Kevin and Keith, that that will always shine through. That will always win at the end of the day. So no matter what he does, he won't scare me away. He won't take away my right to speak when I want to speak or like something that I want to like. Or conversely, 
dislike some dislike something that I don't like. It just won't happen. So I hope all of you out there will join me and continue to say what you have to say, stand up for your freedom, stand up for your rights, and together we will turn away the dark forces that want to take that away. That's all I got. This is the captain, signing off.